hello and welcome to this new video in this video I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server Management Studio so before uh, doing the installation I just uh, changed the language of my Windows so I made it uh, in English so that it can be easy for people who are not familiar with uh, French language to follow the tutorials so in order to uh, install SQL Server Management Studio you have to download it first and I'm going to show you one way to download it you can either search uh, for it in uh, Google for example or just go to uh, SQL Server sorry just go to SQL Server and launch the installation center click on installation uh, install SQL Server management tools and here on this page you will find a link to download SQL Server management studio as of this recording the, last, the latest version is 18.9.2 I have already downloaded this uh, version of SQL Server Management Studio so I'm going to start installing it it's in my uh, downloads folder so if I go to downloads SSMS setup right click run as administrator then click yes and you will see this window so by default SSMS is going to be installed in this location you can change it if you want by clicking here for me I'm going to leave it to the default and then click install to start the installation the installation is going to take some time of course so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to resume recording once the installation has finished so as you can see the installation is almost done so this version of management studio comes with Azure Data Studio and the setup has completed successfully as you can see here so I can close this window and then go and open SQL Server Management Studio so here under SQL Server Tools you should be able to see SQL Server management studio there are other tools that come uh, with it like the analysis services deployment wizard and the database engine tuning advisor the SQL server provider but for the purpose of our video here we are only interested in the management studio tool so click on it to open it it's going to take a few seconds to open <coughs> for me it took more than a few seconds because as I said this is a virtual machine with very limited resources so just when uh, the management studio opens you get this uh, window that tells you to connect to a server so in order to connect to, uh, to a database server or to a SQL server you need to put the name of the server and then the credentials for us we are going to connect to the local uh, machine to the local server so you can put the name of this machine or you can put localhost for me I'm just going to put a dot a dot 
which is a shortcut for the local host or the local machine and for the authentication I can go with my with Windows authentication with my account or with SQL Server authentication and put in uh, my SA account I'm going to go with Windows authentication because if you remember during the Windows Server uh, the SQL Server installation I did add my uh, Windows account as an administrator for this instance of SQL Server so I'm going to connect like this and there you go so you can connect with management uh, studio to multiple uh, database server if I want to connect to another server I can put here uh, the server name and the credentials and click connect and I will have another connection below this one so <coughs> with one uh, management studio uh, application you can manage multiple SQL server uh, instances so I'm going to cancel this so as you can see here under databases I have no database because this is a freshly installed uh, server and it has no databases so for this video I'm going to stop here and in the next videos we should we should see uh, uh, how to create databases and create tables and views and run queries on them etc so thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video